Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of DKC2. This video is brought to you by GameNo1.com and Machinima. Today we'll be doing Crazy Crime Land, starting off with Hornet Hole, the first Honey Eye level in this video game. Also we need Dixie, which you can find over here to the right. Yes, so I did get Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze today, I am going to say that is an amazing game and it will be up on my channel eventually. Amazing game. Also, my PayPal funds are starting to be transferred over, so I'm able to start getting stuff online. First bonus is right here for you guys. Yes, I did record this previously, but for some reason it didn't record properly. That's what I get for recording while I'm rendering videos. It just doesn't work out. So the new game is actually pretty good, you know. Dixie is dressed a little better. She doesn't have her stomach shown. She's like some little monkey whore in this like in this game. She's wearing a normal shirt and has no pants on, I guess. It's funny how they lose her pants. Okay, now funny thing is second bonus is right underneath it. Find the creme coin. Okay, just jump up these honey walls. You can actually just jump up the same one too, you don't actually have to jump from side to side. We're at a grand total of 37 creme coins, I'll show you guys what those do once we get to probably the final world, because I want to do everything other than the final world. Actually, do I have to do the final world last, or...? Um... Actually, yes, I have to do the final world. No. I guess I could show you guys them anytime I have extra time in a video, but uh, right now I don't. And the cranky, uh, cranky, um, funky videos there where I do his side quests probably won't have much extra time on them either due to the fact that it might take me a really long video to get it all done in one part. Now I think this is a life right here. Okay, I know what's up there, that's the gold feather. I was, like, worried that I wasn't going to find it when I was first recording this before it glitched. And, uh, yeah. I actually managed to find all the gold feathers. I uh, only missed one DK coin. Oh, no, I missed one gold feather, one DK coin. You okay, know what that is, is you actually have to glide over here. There's a hook here, and then you just follow these hooks over here, and then the gold feather is way over here. Now, you can fall down and just do all that uh, running around again, which may be faster, but this way is, you know, guaranteed to be clear. Spiny, get out of the way. There's a hook up here. I think this is actually Squitter. Ah, yay, Squitter. My favorite Spider-Man. And your firing is a little slow, but what, what can you do? This is a Game Boy game. I'm not going to complain. It's a good Game Boy game at that. Fire! Fire phasers. Set phasers to kill zingers. Okay, what do we have up here? The O. O for Oshikuru, the demon samurai from Two and a Half Men. That, uh, Jake did not like the jingle of when Charlie did it. That show really went downhill when Jake became a pothead and stuff. I just finally ruined that series. Very disappointing. Good series. Got lame. It's not that I don't like Ashton Kutcher, he's pretty funny. It's just they ruined the entire series when they changed the way everybody was. It's like, why can't you just be yourselves? Alan was always a loser, but he wasn't that bad of a loser. Now he's like, looks like some gay old guy. Like, what the heck is that? He's never portrayed as a gay guy. He's portrayed as a loser, which, you know, they do that on a lot of TV shows. Nothing new there. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of, not that odd. Anyways, your DK coin shall be down here. Watch out for these zingers here. So watch out for these zingers here. And if you go straight up here with Squitter, you need Squitter to get this. DK coin. Bring us to 17 out of 68. That was really bad. Really bad timing on my part. And what was up here? Was, was there something up here? Uh, I don't think so, no. I think we got all the bonuses too. The N is down there. I'm not... Okay, no, there's one more bonus up here. I actually lost Squitter right when I was going up here, because I think... Yes, there's a Zinger. <laughs> that was very embarrassing when I lost Zinger, too. But as you notice, these levels are starting to take a longer time. Five, almost five minutes, and we're only in the first level. This one is actually easier to do without uh, Squitter. But it is naturally shorter, because it is made for Squitter. 
But if you're just the Kongs, holy cow, is it easy. Like, really easy. It's probably one of the most ridiculous uh, bonuses in the entire game. Now, they added a new bonus into Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze as well, where they throw bananas, like the pigs, there's a bunch of them, and they throw bananas at you, and you have to collect all the bananas before they disappear, and then you uh, get a puzzle piece. With the first level, I managed to miss a puzzle piece, and I didn't know where. And then I found a warp in the second level, and totally missed, like, the last couple of items. Which really disappointed me, because I hate using warps. Remember how I told you guys there's a warp in World 2? When I first recorded this game, as like a, about a year ago, when I wanted to actually do this, as, like, my first Let's Play, I, uh, <laughs> took the warp, and, uh, it made me have to redo the entire level. Okay, anyways, we get to move on to level 2. Which should be the... Wait, was that 100%? Okay, yeah, we don't have to go back to level ever again. Which should be the first amusement park level, Target Terror. Uh, honestly, not that hard of a level. Um, there is another cart level like this in this world that is harder. So, prepare for that one. Otherwise, this one is easy. There's the gold feather. You have the timer jumping just right, otherwise you'll miss it completely and have to redo the level or just drive off the edge. Uh, for those who played this game originally, the background is actually nighttime, not dusk. Or I guess morning, whatever that's supposed to be. I don't like this background. It doesn't really look anything like the original. But I guess nothing can be perfect. But anyways, we have our first bonus here, which is really easy to see because you see it right on the screen. This one is Destroy Them All as a Bramble level Squawks minigame. Okay. A little bit of a odd uh, minigame to have here. But it is a change of pace from the uh, my, uh, minecart type level. Okay, so far clean. Almost got hit there with a thorn, but we never did. And sweet, 39th Creme Coin. And there's our O, which means the halfway point should be here in a... A few seconds. Yeah, right here. So we don't honestly have much more of this level. This level, These levels are actually really short. It's just there's some easy spots to mess up in. That you gotta be careful on. Because I think there's two more bonuses in this level. And we still have the DK coin to get. Which is right here. Perfect timing. Let's say think. Oh wait, no. There might only be one more bonus. It might be the only one right here. I'm not sure. Actually, I think this is the last bonus. Which, this one is literally jump over the edge. This is probably the hardest bonus in these cart levels you'll ever see. Because the next cart level, spoiler alert, only has one bonus. And it's like at the beginning of the level. I'll show you when I get there. It's not a hard level. Well, it's hard to get the cr uh, DK coin on the GBA remake. It was a lot easier on the SNES version. But that's how it is on a lot of these games. Certain things are harder, certain things are easier. Okay, no. See, I was thinking that part right there led to a bonus, but I forgot that was just, you know. There we go. And there's a life up here. Good. Wow, we got two lives with one life. That was awesome. This is a single banana. Okay, now let's see if we can get that life. Sweet. This level is done and out of the way. Three minutes opposed to five minutes. Totally different there. And was it 100%? Yes, it was. Okay, moving on to the probably second hardest level in this entire area. Um, not next, it... I wouldn't say, like, the hardest in the game. Or the hardest to get the, uh, hidden items. Just hardest as in a general level. And it's long, and this background is supposed to be, once again, dark blue, but they changed it into, like, a daytime theme. Why? <sighs> I'll never know. I don't get why they couldn't just make it darker. Lots of Game Boy games were dark. What's their excuse this time? But our first bonus is over here where you need this invincibility, as if you couldn't see when I was doing it like that. And look, again, Squawks is here. Collect the stars. Oh, this one. I remember this one. Age Zinger has four of these with a grand total of uh, 36 stars to collect. And you know, they all go in intervals of four. 
because 8 times 4 is 36. Okay, zingers. But the worst part is it's zingers. No one likes these guys. And I hate to say it, guys, but there is going to be a boss eventually in this game. That's going to be a zinger. I'm not going to spoil it when or where you're going to fight it. But we'll fight it very soon. I think that actually is Dixie. Or a group of bananas. I'll never know. See, as soon as you hop on him, though, you can't go back that way. But we didn't miss anything, so we're pretty much set. Oh yeah, this level's a lot of enemies that come to you from the front. I don't, you don't need to go down there because that's just uh, a DK barrel if you lost one of your buddies. Or if you want coins. There's also one there, so really there is no reasoning to go that way. No, the invincible singers. Okay, more bananas. Now, funny fact is, for those who play Donkey Kong Country 3, Zinger is not the bee in there. That game got really oddly cartoony, like the bees looked pretty realistic in this game. But then they got kind of phony. Because they turned into these guys with like buzz saws on their on their like butt. And it just looks corny. It's like, what are you guys supposed to be bees now? Or are you guys supposed to be like corn on the cob? Like Anyway, we got the midway point here. Jump through these thorns. Yes, it looks dangerous, but we need to. Because this leads us to a very important item. And when I mean very important, if you want to collect 100% in this game, you're going to need to go this way. Now these coins are actually indicating where to go. Right here we have the DK coin. Which I don't think we're missing anything else. There is some lives down there, but not mandatory to get. Now, the SNES version is a little more mean on the uh, hit ratio where the thorns can actually hit you, so be careful on that one. Now there's literally nothing back here, I think. Now there's nothing back here, you don't have to go back there. So you just go this way. Click clack, guess what? We get squawks again! And now this is where the game gets really mean. Look at all these zingers. All invincible too and can't be hurt. Even invincibility does not kill these zingers. That's how tough they are. They're literally one of two extremely invincible characters. Okay, there's our gold feather. This one I was really worried about when I first did it. That I was never going to find the gold feather, but in reality it was like right there when I found it. I'm like, oh. Okay, now this is where it gets mean. They start sending invincible enemies flying at your face. I I think we almost got our... Th I heard Cloak, even though we don't see Cloak yet. Okay, that's what got me last time, was these stupid mini neckies. That just want to dive bomb me. Wow, this is like such a smooth run. I haven't even lost an, uh, a Kong in this on this video yet. Last time I've died like three, four times already, because of my own stupidity. Now these guys are always a pain, because they throw fast, and they throw a lot. I love their laughs though, that's just ridiculous. Hey, there's our G. And you know what, I don't care about the item. We just need to get out of this level. Sweet, now I get to carry on. Carry on like Wayward Sun from, or what band is that? Yay, 100%. Funky, we don't need you either. And this brings us to Rickety Race, probably the hardest uh, second hardest level to get 100% on. Only for one reason, the DK coin, you have to win a race. And if you die, then you're not going to get it. So we got our first and only bonus here, destroy them all. Which is a cart one. Which you just follow these carts like this, and we already beat it. It's that easy, and we even had one extra. The time, don't worry, you'll never run out of time, it's just there to scare you. To make you panic and jump off the cliff or something like that. If that's even possible. I don't think it is. Now go back here and you get a boost. That'll pretty much... Um... Is the only way to win this uh, race. And whoa, we gained some good speed from jumping down that. Holy cow. Oh! We got him with a tooth. That's how boss we are, man. 
Now, do one of you guys actually... No, I don't think one of these guys drops the gold feather. It's like, gonna worry there for a second. Like, does, like, the second to first one drop the gold coin? And then gold feather? Because you guys all know what the first one's gonna drop when I said you gotta win a race. Yeah, see, sometimes jumping up and down hills slows you down. So that could be your downfall to this level. Okay, there's our midway point. So if we die, we'll be at the back. We won't have to redo the entire level over, which is good news. Okay, that's usually where I fall off, so there's two Kremlings left. Now, they, there's a gold feather, and here's the second to, f second to first one. Gives us the G. And where's the first place one? What? Okay, that was, that was rude. See what I mean? Because we... We even got first play, uh, got boost, didn't get slowed down one bit, and we still didn't get to it. That's why I said the GBA remake is a real jerk. Other than that, look, we got the bonuses and we got the gold feather. Just missing the DK coin, which is the more important of the items. Now this one also has a very annoying to get DK coin, Mudhole Marsh. Whoa, and our first uh, buddy was gone. Same spot, too, in my pre-recording of this. The only problem is, like, uh, when I was rendering the uh, Pokemon episodes while I was doing this one, um, it caused it to lag while it was recording, and then the audio was nowhere near close to with the, uh, with the video. And it was just like, uh, no one would watch that. And Dixie, put your tummy back in your shirt. I like how they changed her outfit in the new game. Okay, um, Cat of Nine Tails, get out of here. Yes, he'll launch you up. He might not. He might bleh, might not necessarily kill you, but he can get annoying depending on where he throws you. He can throw you into the water, into a zinger, uh, straight up into a bonus. He can pretty much throw you anywhere. And we don't need this. That's like a Diddy uh, DK barrel. Might as well be a Diddy Barrel. Now why I wanted to, you know, do that is because we got this and... Okay. I forgot that Diddy is pretty much useless in here unless you roll jump everything. So we're just gonna go through this level of Dixie. Which makes more sense because she can, like, pretty much cheat the level. Like, look at this. She just, like, flies by like she's everything. Now we can duck past all these fur brains here. He does look cool because he's wearing a bandana and I do like how they change him. He doesn't look as corny as he did in the other game. When he was mini necky, he was seriously mini necky. He looked like he was like pint sized little coconut spitting nut spitting poop head. Okay, now we're invincible Dixie, which makes us even better. Now we're like a godlike monkey. And, uh, good thing is, it's not like Crash Bandicoot, where if you try and run across boxes while you're invincible, you mess up the game, and I'm gonna... Oh, yay. Oh, you actually got us up into the bonus. I'm proud of you, Cat of Nine Tails. Yeah, at this point in my last recording, I was like... Um, where was I in the game? Uh, like the first level... Uh, not the first level. Like, level or two behind this. You know what? I need to go back here. No, don't you dare fall in the water. Wow, that was even perfect. Even more perfect than last time. Okay, now, this is the worst bonus in the entire game, in my opinion. Just because you need your buddy to do everything. Like, it is awful. Um, this is my favorite DK game. But, at the same time, it's like, kind of gets annoying when you're recording it, because it's almost hard to play casual because you have a time limit. It's not like you can sit here for your entire day and just play and mess around. Well, you could if you don't want it to be a professional. But then you don't have half as many people watch. Oh, I missed the O. Why did he bother getting that? I could have died. Cattails. This place could have been called Cattail Marsh as well, but... You know, I guess Mudhole Marsh fits it too. Now watch this, you can actually throw your buddy at him and you'll... No! You ain't killing Diddy today. Okay, next bonus. Whoa! Yes, you have cannon shooting cannonballs at you. Ay-ya! And here's our next and last bonus. 
which is destroy them all with cannonballs, I think. Oh, yes it is. Nope. Why aren't you moving? There we go. Sometimes I hate these games for their movements. Oh, great. Yeah. I just hope I don't miss the zinger, because then no. Okay, good. I just don't want to lose and have to redo another bonus. Not twice in the same level. Okay, now we're getting to the part where the game actually is very mean. And it's not the fact that we're going to have a guy shooting barrels at us that we need to cross. Which kind of is at the same time. But okay, now for this one, more simple than you think. You don't roll off. You use your partner. Okay, now this little crockhead here can get up out of there. We'll use you to get some bananas. And I'll use Diddy here to not take him out like I planned on. Okay, now this is the second most annoying part of this level. Not the most annoying, the second. This is it. Because the DK coin was right after that gold coin. I was hoping doing it off screen like that would have caused a Tino trigger, but it didn't. Anyways, good news is, is we're on to the last level of the area, Rambi Rumble. Well, last level before the boss. Which is a honey filled level. And these bees have gotten really fast since uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo. Oh, that was a bad move on my part. I know I'm dead. This level is a real jerk. This is actually probably one of the easiest levels to take dumb hits. Oh, hey, Dixie's back. You know what? I could use you. At least I got you back now. Back in black, I hit the sack. I don't want to say that, you know, people might think you're racist. I always want to say it at work, but then I have like the black guy that works at work that works with me, and it's like, oh wait a minute, that just seem racist now. Fire in the oil. Okay. I don't think we're missing anything. Okay, this part can be a real... Oh, bummer. Yes, now you know why I don't like this level. And now we're gonna get into dual zingers. Are you guys starting to see a trend with all these zingers in this game, or what? Do you think they're out to get me? It's like the zinger conspiracy or something. Whoa! Ugh. Yeah. I, uh, okay, good, good, good. Now, let me get into the bonus before I die. Again. Find the crumb coin, please. Wait a minute. Okay, no, it's one of these. This one, you actually have to jump up one way, and then it switches. And then you gotta do it on this side. I think I'd do it, like, one more time just to be mean, but it doesn't. Okay, now, if everything goes well, this recording is going very smoothly compared to last time. Last time we were at like 30 minutes, and uh, yeah, it was awful, and I missed the K because that spot where the zinger hit me when I was falling down with Diddy, yeah, that's... Wait a minute. I wonder something here. Oh, wait, that's a cliff, and we were at 69 lives. I just don't know where the gold feather is here. This is the level that I missed the gold feather at. It's actually the only one I'm missing the gold feather at. Whoa, I didn't even realize that happened. Okay, to actually get the DK coin, we have to go there. But we can't progress with the level. Now the DK... Now, the gold feather I thought was going to be, like, in this general vicinity, but it's not. I don't actually know where it is. So, yes, why it's called Rambi Rumbles, because we get to control Rambi for a very brief time in this level. When I mean brief, I mean seriously brief. Like, it's it's a joke how long you actually get to play as him for having the entire level named after him. So I'm starting to look a little more carefully around here for, um, gold feathers. Oh yeah, cannon's down here. That's why you don't want to go down there. Okay, now where is that gold feather? But here you gotta run. And the music is a lot more epic when you play the Super Nintendo version than this version. This music isn't even, like, good chase music. There you go! We can make it! Woo! 
Okay, now I just run. And then there's the next bonus. That thing is gonna get me. Destroy them all, boys. Destroy them all. Yep. Oh, these guys, huh? Eh, don't. Eh, zinger's back again. And another zinger. And three more of you guys. And there's a little fly crawling on my face. Okay, now. Is it? Is it somewhere over here by chance? Like. Um. I just don't know where it is. Like, I looked everywhere for it. It's not even up there either. It's like. Who knows where? Get, just get. Oh my lordy. Um. There we go. One banana. That's such a feat. One banana. Okay, it all led down to the. Wait, did we actually get the all the bonuses? Yeah, we got the bonuses in DK coin, just not the feather. Anyways, King Zing Sting, the next boss. Which Yolo hashtag swagbers? It's another zinger. And uh, this one isn't as bad as the remade version of uh, Queen's uh, Queen's what Queen Queen Zing Queen Zing Stinger. Oh my God! I can't believe I got hit there. I know I'm dead. Yep. The reason why is because I got trapped under him. I usually use it as my partner as fodder to get hit by its shooting stingers. Okay, now we're back at freaking 68 lives. See what I mean? We always get stuck at 69. You can never get past it. It happened to my Donkey Kong Let's Play. Like the original Donkey Kong Country Let's Play. If you can hit under him just right. Okay, you know what, Zinger? Eat crackers, cracker jack attack. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you freaking pothead. If we can just survive one more onslaught of needles, we're safe. Then the game gets easier from there. Oh, great, now here it comes. Uh. Uh. Oh! Really? Right in the neck? Why, man? Why? <laughs> Sometimes this, it's funny because this boss actually went by really smooth on my pre recording. It's the only level that I'm actually having trouble with in this game right now. Like, the rest of the recording went 100 times smoother. Like, we were at 32 or 33 minutes for this recording as of right now on the original. So I'm kind of glad I did redo this one. I didn't really want to redo this world because it's not one of my favorites. Well, it is, but at the same time, it's not because. The remake is makes it a little worse than it really is. Um, really? Okay, they change positions. And, uh, it's like, as soon as I get hit, I get hit again. Man, I might have to fast forward this. Thing. Hey, Diddy, we're actually playing as you. Okay, you know what? Eat this. And eat this again. Wow, you flew a far away off the screen. You know, you know, that's not fair, man. We can't go off screen. Why can you? Because you're a freaking zinger. Ah! Oh, yay. I hit off camera. That's how boss I am, zinger. Now, eat this. He's like, oh, zing. Zing. He's like, oh, bazinger. I am now watching American Pie. No, actually, it was Big Bang Theory. The theme song's done by a Canadian group, the Bare Naked Ladies. Eat that! I'm defeated! I'm so you thought, now I'm truly an invincibility! You made me so mad. Do you think they're just like mad zingers that are on. Yeah! Eat this, eat this, eat this! Blue. He's like, you know what? Stupid Barity, I'm gonna get you. You know what? You know what? Ah, he's coming to get me. Too bad! Ha! <laughs> Where does K. Rule keep getting these giant zingers from? Come on, let's go. Two gloomy cults. You don't have time to play on the shooting gallery now. We actually did it. So that leads us to the next world of my personal favorite, Gloomy Gulch. So see you guys next time with more Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest.